All right, listen to this. A wedding crasher is wanted in connection to thefts at an east side church. It is the second time thieves have struck in the last year. First, it was a funeral, and now it's a wedding. Madison police are investigating a robbery that happened during the ceremony. News 3's Jessica Arp is live at St. Bernard's off Atwood Avenue, where it all happened. Jess? Well, Madison police actually reported a card box being stolen from a funeral here back in December. They don't necessarily know that that incident is connected to the latest one, but they want to know if you recognize this wedding crasher. Photos show you the joy and love on Amanda and Ryan Carto's wedding day. Memories they'll keep forever. And all of a sudden, you're up at the altar and you're ready to get married. They made it down the aisle and to the altar at St. Bernard's Church on July 26th. But what was happening during the ceremony in the basement of the church, they'd rather forget. I know a couple of people had talked about setting the purses aside, but you just kind of forget about it. We felt comfortable there. It was all our friends and family. It was and a church. Ryan and Amanda discovered when they went to leave the church that someone robbed the room where the bride and her maids had gotten ready. My mom's wallet was stolen, my sister's, um, several other bridesmaids, one who flew in from Alabama, so she didn't now have any of her IDs or credit cards. Madison police have keyed in on this photo from after the wedding. Surveillance from a Nakusa Trail Walmart where a bridesmaid's credit card was used an hour later. The man dressed as if he was at a wedding. We're hopeful that we're going to be able to identify at least this person that we have uh, some surveillance video on. Now, whether this is the person who actually took the wallets, we really don't know at this time. People after the fact said, oh yeah, I saw him there at the wedding, kind of standing outside the bridesmaid room. but. They just thought he was, you know, a family member just hanging out. The couple is hopeful that photo and this one of his vehicle can bring closure and lift the cloud over a happy day. I just want him to be yeah. embarrassed and mm -hmm. punished and I don't want it to happen to anyone else. Now, officials here at the church say that they're very concerned about these incidents as well. They've decided to take some new security measures. They have a new card box for funerals that was actually donated by the family that had the card box stolen earlier. They say it would be much more difficult to lift or take out of the church in any way. They've installed a keypad lock on the church hall door downstairs, and this fall they're planning to put in security cameras around the building, all steps they hoped they wouldn't have had to take, but they say they want people to feel safe coming here. Well, let's hope some photos can generate some leads there. Jessica Arp, Jess, thanks.